Stoke-on-Trent is known affectionately as the Potteries. The city came about in 1910 with the passing of the Federation Bill, when Stoke, Tunstall, Burslem, Hanley, which was the main shopping centre, Fenton and Longton were amalgamated into one, although the towns still retain an air of individuality. So, why not let us take you for a stroll down memory lane and recall the people, places and events of Stoke-on-Trent. Let's start our journey near the centre of Stoke in Campbell Place. Here we are looking along the road in the direction of the Campbell Monument which stands in front of the Wheatsheaf Hotel. The two little lads in the foreground seem fascinated by the photographer whilst everyone else is just going about their business. Note how empty the street is, not one vehicle to be seen. This elevated view is of Tonstall Town Hall in the early years of the 20th century. Typical of the type of municipal buildings of the time, it was built in the mid-1880s and dominated the town centre. This is St Peter Advincula Church in Stoke, which dates from 1826. It replaced an earlier structure, traces of which can be found in the churchyard, and it was here that Josiah Wedgwood was laid to rest, along with two other famous potters, Josiah Spode and Thomas Minton. Here we are on Church Street in the early 1900s as a couple of single-decker trams rattle their way along past the shops. In the street, the only other vehicles of any sort are a couple of hand cars. Just off Church Street, at its junction with Hearts Hill Road, is Liverpool Road. Here we see the tram lines converging towards the camera. Why was that? Was there a narrow section of road at this point? The chap on the extreme left may be waiting for a tram at the stop, or 